Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the history of the Highlands Air Force Station and the 646 Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron. In 1946, in a reorganization of the Army Air Forces, the Air Defense Command, the Strategic Air Command, and the Tactical Air Command were created. In 1947, the United States Air Force was created. The Air Defense Command was headquartered at Mitchell Air Force Base. In early April 1948, the Air Defense Command was ordered to set up radar sites in the Northwest, Northeast, and Albuquerque, New Mexico area. The plans for an Air Defense network of radar and control sites was still in the planning stages at this point. Uh, a short-term plan was hurriedly put together and it was called Lash Up. On April 10, 1948, the 505th Aircraft Control and Warning Group stationed in Panama was ordered to the Ro Roslyn Air Force Station in Roslyn, New York. Upon our arrival at Roslyn, the 505th Aircraft Control and Warning Group was renamed the 503rd Aircraft Control and Warning Group. On April 30, 1948, the 503rd AC&W Group was divided into five subordinate units. One of them was the 646 Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron. On May 4, 1948, the 646 AC&W Squadron was assigned its first commanding officer, First Lieutenant Herbert F. Keithley, Jr., and one enlisted man, Staff Sergeant Edward Sellers. On June 7, 1948, five officers and 63 enlisted men were assigned to the 646 Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron. Also at this time, Captain Lewis F. Janik took over command of the unit from First Lieutenant Herbert R. Kelly, Keithley, Jr. The 646 Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron was ordered to set up radar sites uh, at Twin Lights in Highlands, New Jersey, um, Camp Hero at Montauk Point, Long Island, and Palermo Air Force Station near Atlantic City, New Jersey, as well as set up and operate the control room at the Roslyn Control Center. The Montauk site was designated L-10 for lash up site number 10 and accepted on July 5, 1948. The Twin Lights site was designated L-12 for lash up site number 12. The Palermo site was designated L-13 for lash up site number 13 and accepted on July 12, 1948. The 646 Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron set up an AN-TPS-1B radar at Sandy Hook and took over the AN-CPS-6 radar at the Twin Lights AWS site. The Air Force in its fiscal year 1950 estimates had included a request for funds to procure additional radars for the CPS-6 type, build stations for the operational employment, and procure modern height finders. This program was called the First Augmentation. Congress approved both the inter interim program and the First Augmentation in March 1949. The necessary funds for their implementation were received later in the year. Soon after the passage of this le legislation, the new permanent radar system, P system, was affixed to the facilities authorized for construction by the terms of these programs, which was finally, which as was finally approved, totaled 75 radars and 10 control centers. The first atomic bomb explode, explosion by the Soviet Union was done on August 29, 1949. This is made public by uh, President Truman on September 23, 1949, a month later. It caused a major public interest in national air defense. After the Russians exploded their first bomb in 1949, most of, most of American leaders agreed that air defense was one of the weakest links in America's uh, military security. 
Now, the Soviet Union had the atomic bomb and a copy of the B-29 bomber, uh, the Tu-4 bull bomber, which uh, could possibly hit New York City or Chicago or L.A. at this point. So you could see a one-way mission of a Tu-4 bomber, and this kind of scared a lot of people. In June, June 1949, the 503rd Aircraft Control and Warning Group was absorbed into the 26th Air, Divi Air Division Defense. In September, the, the ANTPS-1B 6 T ANTPS -1B radar at Sandy Hook was installed on a K-53 truck van, thereby making uh, the set a truly mobile set. And was still operated by the 646. The 646 would move from both the Twin Lights site as well as Fort Hancock uh, into the nearby uh, Navasink Military Reservation at the end of April 1945 because Fort Hancock was to close on May 1st, 1950. The 646 would continue to operate at Twin Lights while re Rehabilitation and construction was going on at the, at the nearby Navasink Military Reservation. Construction would continue to, uh, construction would continue at the Highlands till August 1951. On July 24th, 1950, the Secretary of the Army transferred 72 and three quarters acres as well as a 4.8 acre easement and a 1.3 acre license to the Department of the Air Force of the Navasink Military Reservation. In October 1950, a new ANCPS-6B radar was installed at Navasink Military Reservation in the operations area. On October 25, 1950, the 26th Air Division was reorganized. With this reorganization, four new Aircraft control and warning squadrons were uh, made from the detachments in Montauk, Palermo, Twin Lights, and Fort, uh, Fort Custis and Connellsville, PA. Within the 26th Air Division, uh, the, the, uh, this made the 770th AC&W Squadron at Palermo and the 773rd Squadron at Montauk. And the 646 obviously was uh, stayed at Twin Lights. On November 16, 1950, it was announced that the new air, uh, the, the new air defense command uh, would move from Mitchell Field to Ent Air Force Base near Colorado Springs, Colorado, on December 1, 1950. They decided Mitchell Field was too close to a point of attack. On December 20th, 1950, airmen of the 646 were finally moved into their new barracks at the Navasink Military Reservation, and uh, construction was finished by the end of the month. On July 3rd, they were given an uh, official change of station uh, from Twin Lights to the, tw to the Navasink Military Reservation. The squadron had long been utilizing the buildings at, at Navasink during the construction. The actual location was really close by to the last up site. And in July, on July 26th to 28th, the Navasink Military Re Reservation was inspected by higher headquarters of the 26th Air Division and accepted and was given the designation P-9 for the ninth permanent station to be accepted. The new site of the 646 at Highlands was um, the radar was uh, calibrated on September 19th, 1951. The, the, this new radar had the capability to detect aircraft at 150 miles detection and 38,000 feet in altitude. From December 
51 to August 55, the Navasink Military Reservation was host to the, to the first radar passive detection system. This passive detection system was designated to listen for SAT Strategic Air Command electronic jamming signals outside the radar range of the host station, as well as triangulating those signals with other passive detection sites at Montauk and Palermo. On February 1st, 1952, there was a reorganization of the Air Defense Command. The uh, 4,709th 4, Air Defense Wing was activated at, at McGuire Air Force Base. The 646 and the other aircraft control and warning squadrons of Palermo and Montauk came under the uh, 4709th Defense Wing, as well as the 52nd Wing, 52nd Fighter Wing at McGuire Air Force Base. In 1953, the radar stations of the Air Defense Command communication section underwent an upgrade of VHF radios to UHF radios. On March 3rd, 1953, Joseph Stalin died. This was a good event. <laughs> In October 1953, the 646 Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron received a new piece of equipment, uh, the 15J-1C radar simulator. On December 1st, 1953, the Navasink Military Reservation was officially redesignated as the Highlands Air Force Station. In December 1953, the first Nike Ajax missile was activated at Fort, Fort Meade, Maryland. And shortly thereafter, within a month, the second uh, Nike Ajax uh, site was activated at Fort Hancock, nearby Fort Hancock, Sandy Hook. In 1954, some SAC bases began to store atomic bombs, considerably decreasing their reaction time. At, shortly after this, they began carrying nuclear weapons on their bombers in exercises over the uh, United States. Starting in 1949, the Air Force began testing its air defense system with exercises between the Air Defense Command and the Strategic Air Command. There were numerous exercises that were held, and they still are held to this day, between NORAD and uh, the Global Strike Command, the successor to the Strategic Air Command. On July 20th, 1954, the OA-347 search kit, search and modification kit, uh, was emplaced on the uh, CPS-6B radar at uh, the Highlands Air Force Station. Uh, this uh, new modification kit added 50 miles in radar range to the radar and increased its detection height to 60,000 feet. So now the radar at Highlands had a range of 200 miles and 60,000 feet in altitude. In 1955, the Air Defense Command began a program to fill in the gaps in its radar coverage. On February 15, 1957, the first ANFPS-14 radar became operational at Gibbsboro, New Jersey. This was uh, radar site P9A. This is the first get radar gap filler in the nation, and it was tied to the Highlands Air Force Station. On March 25, 1957, the 646 control also got the new ANGPA-37 um equipment, which was inspecting given uh, acceptance by the 26th Air Division. This new uh, semi-automatic computer uh, increased the number of interceptors uh, each director at the radar station could handle, uh, in theory at least from uh, four to six. And it helped make uh, each intercept more accurate. It did not eliminate the uh, need for manual co control, but it did make uh, directing uh, fighter planes to bombers much more efficient. 
<clears throat> on April 24, 1957, uh, at the in Red Bank at the old Union House on Wharf Ave, the First Army Public Affairs Office held a press conference and announced that the Highlands Air Force Station would be getting the new Missile Master uh, air defense system. The Missile Master Air Defense System was a computer to control all Nike missiles in the New York defense ring. In mid-1958, uh, they began uh, converting uh, from Nike Ajax to Nike Hercules, with the first Nike Hercules being installed at Fort Tilden in mid to late 1958. Miss, the uh, Missile Master Building... Uh, was placed in the operations area of the Highlands Air Force Station. Construction was called, uh, construction contract bids were called for on May 15, 1958, and they're open on June 12, 1958. Construction was started on July 10, 1958. They finished in uh, April 1960. Uh, acceptance was given in May 1960. And a dedication ceremony was held on June 6, 1960, and was in the New York Times. Uh, it was dedicated by the Arad, uh, Army Air Defense Command's Major General Palmer W. Edwards. The missile Master System was manned by the 52nd Artillery Brigade, and it was originally stationed at uh, Fort Wadsworth, Staten Island. This unit officially moved a month later on July 4th, moved from Fort Wadsworth to, to uh, the Highlands Air Force Station on July 4th, 19, 1960. The Highlands Air Force Station operations area was officially designated Nike Site NY-55DC. All command and control functions for all New York and Philadelphia-based Nike missiles were routed through this uh, Missile Master system. <clears throat> the ANCPS-6B was uh, replaced with a much larger and more uh, extensive ANFPS-7 radar in 19, by mid-1960 as the uh, main radar of the Highlands Air Force Station. There was also an FPS-26 radar that went with it, and four FPS-6 radars, smaller height finder radars. The AN-FPS-7 radar had a detection range of 300 miles and a search altitude of 100,000 feet. On July 1, 1958, the Sage Direction Center AN-FSQ-7 computer was activated at... Uh, McGuire Air Force Base. The uh, Roslyn Air Force Station uh, and the 26th Air Division uh, would uh, phase down over the next six months and move to Stewart Air Force Base. The New York Air Defense Sector at McGuire assumed the air defense logistical and administrative uh, responsibility for the defense of the New York area. Uh, on September 15, 1958, the uh, 646 Aircraft Control and Water Warning Squadron and the 770th at Palermo and the 773rd at um, Montauk were renamed from Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron to Radar Squadron SAGE in October 1958. On July 1, 1963, the uh, permanent radar designation P site station was was redesignated Z for uh, to denote zone of the interior. The station designation of P9 was changed to Z9. The 646 radar squadron Sage at the Highlands Air Force Station was officially decommissioned on on June 30th, 1960. Also, there was also the Texas Tower that was associated with the Highlands Air Force Station. 
Texas Tower Number Four was the final of three three radar towers off the new, off the east coast of the United States, built to extend the radar range of the United States 300 to 500 miles out to sea. This would have given the continental United States an extra 30 minutes of warning time in case of a Soviet manned bomber attack. Texas Tower No. 4 began construction in December 1956 in a Navy shipyard in Portland, Maine. The tower platform was floated on June 28, 1957 and floated to a site about 75 miles off Barnegat, New Jersey. It was placed on three steel legs in 185 feet of water on an unnamed shoal. Personnel from the 646 Aircraft Controlling Warning Squadron manned and operated the radar tower and provided communication support from the Highlands Air Force Station. The, the 4604th Support Squadron Texas Towers provided logistical support from Otis Air Force Base in Massachusetts. The tower was nicknamed Old, Old Shaky by its crew. The communication support for Texas Tower Number no. 4 at the Highlands Air Force Station was by the ANFRC FR, FRC 56 Tropo Scatter Communication System. The Tropo Scatter Communication System bounced radar off the tro level of the, the tropospheric level of the atmosphere and bounced it back to uh, the shore station and back and forth. The Tropus Scatter Shore Station was a small one-story building next to Battery Lois and on top of Battery Lois were two 15-foot tall antennas, 15-foot diameter antennas, and they were built in mid-1957. Texas Tower No. 4 was damaged in Hurricane, uh, Hurricane Donna in, uh, 19, in September 1960, but repairs... Uh, were planned uh, for February were, were were made but more permanent plans were made for February 1st 1960 but were not uh, installed in time on June 15th on January 15th 1960 61 um, another storm came by uh, over Texas Tower number four um, and uh, the tower collapsed into the sea, damaged the legs, and the tower collapsed. Uh, 28, 28 people died, 14 civilians and 14 uh, military personnel manning the uh, station uh, died Died when uh, Texas Tower Number 4 collapsed on January 15, 1961. In 1963, the 15-foot tropis scatter antennas at the Highlands Air Force Station were taken down. That's my brief history of the Highlands Air Force Station and its link to Gibbsboro, New Jersey with the uh, gap filler, the first gap filler in the nation, and Texas Tower Number 4.